Hi there, so we're coming to you from the Brampton Civic today where I'm super excited because I'm just about to go in and meet with Dr. Varun Kapila who has just completed the very first procedure in William Osler's new state-of-the-art endovascular therapeutic suite. Now this suite was made available from a major donation by the Orlando Corporation and it really will provide us with state-of-the-art care for our vascular population. Dr. Kapila is going to tell us all about that. I'm really excited, so I want you to come with me. We're going to go meet with him right now. Now, what was it like for you and your team? How did it go? Well, this was fantastic. This has been a project we've been working on for about three and a half years. And what we did today was a very complex, uh, difficult case that typically we would be doing an open surgical repair. Uh, that patients would be in ICU for seven days or more potentially and now we did everything through about a one centimeter incision in each groin and the patient was awake the entire time so we had an incredible nursing team incredible uh, interventional team and uh, and support team so uh, it was as good as I could expect yeah. well we have a lot to be proud of with this team here today and the technology is amazing but the impact this is going to have for our community is really really what matters and so give me a, a sense of who are the patients that you're looking after who are the kinds of people that you're going to be treating with this uh, with this new technology. So we see the entire spectrum of vascular disease here. So we see basically from head to toe arteries and veins. Uh, for example, uh, we'll be treating acute stroke here. So patients who've had uh, a stroke and have gone to the brain, which can be quite devastating, we're going to be able to put carotid stents uh, into them because of the expertise we have in-house. Uh, if we have patients who uh, basically have uh, you know very low blood pressure or for that many points and purposes that may almost near death mm -hmm. because of a ruptured aneurysm, mm -hmm. we're going to be able to treat them uh, in this room and again without any major incisions. And all the way down to the legs we're going to be able to save limbs because of the in types of interventions we're able to perform here. Yeah I know in, in my practice in emergency medicine there would be lots of you know trauma patients who would have a lot of internal bleeding that we would never uh, be able to stabilize and get through a, a surgical procedure who might actually benefit from you know from some of these interventions. Oh well. absolutely so right behind us what we actually have is not only a an angio room but it's also fixed with a CT scanner so we can actually bring the patient here get a diagnosis immediately create a treatment plan and then provide the treatment plan all in the same room. So it was the Orlando Corporation that gave us the donation that allowed us to do this. So if you could say one thing to them, what would be the important thing we would want to say to the Orlando Corporation? What that donation has done was really save lives. Um, the procedure we did today, I would probably say that we would not be able to have offered that patient uh, if we didn't have this type of technology. So he's going to live uh, a whole lot of more years because of that we're very proud of, of you and your team. Uh, we're so fortunate as an organization to have this equipment available because of Orlando. Uh, and I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm uh, really looking forward to the impact that you're going to have on the lives of so many people in our community. So thank you very much. Thank you. Good work. Thank you.